Hello and welcome to Cracksoid. Recently, I made a video on how to backup apps with their data. And in that video, I got a comment. After a clean ROM flash, does it still restore like Swift backup? That was the question. This made me wonder if not everyone knows the truth. So today in this video, I'm going to conduct an experiment to check whether the data backup app works after changing the ROM on your phone or not. So let's get started. As you can see, I have installed the latest Project Alexa ROM on my device, which is running on Android version 13. And I'm going to perform my experiment on this room. Firstly, I want to show you that my phone is rooted because to use a data backup app, your phone must be rooted. In case if you don't know how to root your phone or install a data backup app, then don't forget to watch the videos in the description section below. You can also see that my phone is rooted regardless of whether you have rooted your phone with Magis, Kernel SU or any other method. By the way, I have rooted using Magisk for now. First, I'll open the data backup app and grant all the necessary permissions, including super user permission. Simply grant the super user permission and then you will see the dashboard of data backup app. In this video, I'll start by taking a backup of some apps with their data. I'll tap on the backup button in the application section and select some applications that require login with an ID and password like Facebook, Telegram, WhatsApp, etc. So I'll proceed to backup these apps with their data and this backup process won't take much time. It will be completed very quickly. As you can see, the backup process is completed. To restore it, you just need to tap on the restore button and then restore the desired application with the data attached, which means you don't need to log in again. But I have already shown you how to do this in my previous video. In this video, I'll install a new ROM on my phone and test whether the backup I just took will be restored on another ROM or not. For this, I have already downloaded a custom ROM and other necessary files to install the custom ROM and root my device. I'll be installing a new ROM called Alpha Droid ROM, which is also running on Android version 13. I don't want to make the video too long, so I'll fast forward the ROM installation and rooting process. I believe that if you're watching Cracksoid, you know how to install a custom ROM on your device. Don't worry if you don't know, I have already made lots of tutorial videos on how to install custom ROMs on Android phone. So you can check out that videos in the description section below. And also I'll provide all the necessary links to make it easy for you. Finally, I have completed installing a new ROM and I have also installed Magisk to root this device. This is Alpha Droid ROM based on Android 13. In this room, I'll go to the file manager and install the data backup app and also the Magisk app. After completing the installation process of these two apps, I'll also show you that my phone is rooted as Magisk is successfully installed on my device. Now after Magisk, I'll open the data backup app and allow all the necessary required permissions, just like before, including the super user permission. To grant super user permission, simply tap on the grant button that pops up. Now that we are back in the dashboard menu of the data backup app, it's time for the moment we have all been waiting for. In the application section, I'll tap on the restore button and it will display the list of all the apps that have been restored. I'll manually select all the apps and their data one by one. The apps that are being restored are Facebook, MX Player, Telegram and WhatsApp. So after selecting all these apps, I'll tap on the arrow button to start the restoring process. And in less than a minute, it will complete the restoring process. All the apps will be available in the app drawer section. To test the apps, we need to enable Wi-Fi, but I have forgotten the Wi-Fi password for now, so I don't have time to find or remember it. Instead, I'll quickly open the mobile data on my phone, enabling mobile data and checking all the apps.
first I'll open the telegram app and as you can see it has opened without asking me to log in directly. However, it did ask me for notifications which may be due to tight security and privacy on Android 13. Similarly, I checked the WhatsApp application and it also works perfectly. WhatsApp didn't even ask me for any notification or other permissions. And it opened without requiring me to log in again. But in the MX Player app, it asked me for all the permissions including storage permission. In the Facebook app, it didn't require an ID and password to log in again. As we just saw the result of our experiment is positive. You can use a data backup app to backup and restore even after installing a new custom ROM on your device. One thing to remember is that my phone was not encrypted so I didn't need to format my internal storage. In case you need to format your phone after installing a custom ROM, you will need to save the backup folder on a memory card or another secondary storage. After installing another ROM, copy that backup folder back into the internal storage and then you will be able to use the data backup app successfully on your phone too. So thank you so much for watching this video till the end and if you liked my video then don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below and share this video and also subscribe to Cracks YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.